On this episode, we'll be talking about how to build an effective Necron army without breaking the bank at the same time. 1,000 points or bust. Necrons marched to war, clad in the splendor of their fallen empires. They ruled the stars long before the Eldari looked to the sky and wondered what was up there, long before humanity even crawled out of the primordial ooze. This is their galaxy to conquer, and they will have it back. If they can stop squabbling between each other's dynasties to do it. This particular video won't be covering tactics or really recommending which dynasty to play, but we will be building a battalion list that'll help you get used to the way that Necrons roll. Of course, you'll need the Necron Codex and the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook to play the game, available at the link down below. Alright, well, once again, we are faced with a Start Collecting box. It's actually pretty good. I am a big fan of all the stuff that they've got going on here. They give you Necron Warriors, they give you Immortals, which is a slightly more interesting <laughs> Necron Warriors. They give you an overlord, they, two overlords, they give you the basic overlord, right? And then they give you the other or overlord that comes with the catacomb command barge, which we'll be using for this. Um, instead, of an un, instead of an annihilation barge, which we will also build later. And you can make this Necron overlord into a regular overlord if you want. You could very easily also kit bash him into a crypt tech if you want. Uh, the, possibilities are only limited by your imagination and what parts you have on hand. So this gives you 10 Necron Warriors out the box. That's one of your troop choices. We're going to reinforce that with another 10 Necron Warriors, which is your other troop choice. And finally, the Immortals out of the box are perfectly acceptable for what you will need for your Battalion Detachment. Bam, 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 done and done. So precisely after that, uh, we build our Annihilation Barge that's in the box into a Catacomb Command Barge for your second HQ to go through Overlord. And then we build up another Annihilation Barge, which looks like that, which has the huge cannons on it. The Annihilation Barge is going to be your designated anti-tank, because look at it. It's, I mean, it's anti-everything, to be realistic, but the uh, Annihilation Barge is your best bet. Uh, and then, obviously, since that comes with the parts to make another Necron Lord, you can make a Lord out of it, you can kit bash together. Oh, and Rekir the Traveler, if you're playing real fast and loose, or you can just make a Cryptek, or you can just keep the parts on hand for, I don't know, the next time you need a spare model. Uh, after that, we're going to grab ourselves another box of Immortals, and out of this box of Immortals, we're going to make Death Marks. That's these little boys here with the big uh, scary eye and the giant sniper rifle. So the important thing to know about death marks is that they can actually drop in with somebody else who's dropping in and get an entire round of blasting away at them. So if you have a huge Terminator squad that suddenly decides to drop in out of nowhere, you can drop your death marks in right after them. And uh, all of a sudden, there's not that many Terminators running around anymore. Hmm, who knew? Furthermore, the Lich Guard are there to be a wall to protect your overlords. The overlords are really quite strong, all things considered, but they are a little bit on the squishy side if they get mobbed, so if you have a bunch of guys with three up invulnerable shields in front of them and power swords, well, suddenly that becomes less of a problem. And lest I forget, every Necron Warrior box comes with Canoptic Scarabs. Now, these aren't exactly the most interesting little buggers on the universe, but they can be a little roadblock or a speed bump for something that's getting in your way. And that will fill out just about your thousand points, too. So, uh, everything here has a use. With such a good start out the gate with the Immortals and the Command Barge, you want to focus on where to put your other elements. Necrons are not particularly swift, so you'll be looking primarily to countercharge with your Lich Guard to protect your Overlord, and just let the Annihilation Barge do its thing. Death Marks will clean up characters for you while they deep strike in, and overall the damage output you can get from everything here is astronomical, if you place it properly. 
Now, of course, this is by no means exhaustive, but it should give you an idea of just what a Necron army should look like when you're starting out. And if you go down to our website, fantasygames.com, and check out our 1,000 points or bust subcategory, you'll find everything here. Once you've gotten your head around them, you can come on back and get your paints and supplements and data cards to really get your game on. And when you're ready for more Necrons, there are plenty more models to collect. For example, you can pick up a Triarch Stalker or one of those cool Catans that uh, just seem to annihilate everything around them. Well, whatever you choose, it's all available at Fantasy Games. Thanks for watching.